I want to read books. That was the biggest wish for the girl who began a new life in another world, a world where books were prohibitively expensive. If she couldn't get any, she'd have to make them herself. Coming to that resolution, she took the first step toward making her own paper. After I became mine, Winter with a capital W took over the town I live in. Oh. Why is it so dark in the middle of the day? What do you expect? There's a blizzard. Hmm. Since getting snowed in is common, people work at home over the winter. Mostly handiwork. Tootie makes baskets, while Mom stitches clothes. Mine, stop goofing off and make some baskets too. Tootie, will you show her how to do it? All right. <laughs> Actually, I already know what I'm making. Huh? I'm gonna make my pseudo papyrus with these guys. Before it started snowing, I had Tootie and the other kids go out and gather a thick stemmed plant for me. Let's hear it for Ancient Egypt! Yay! But how exactly do I go about separating the fiber? Oh. That's neat. Tootie, how do you make this? You strip the skin, wash it in running water, and let it dry. I see. Thanks, Tootie! Try peeling along the fiber now. Tootie. I got it! <laughs> hey, Tootie, what's wrong? And so the table was set at last. If I just weave these together, I should have my pseudo papyrus. I've been wondering. You've been at this for three days, and I still can't tell what it is you're making. Ugh. Mine? Forget it! I give up! Ancient Egypt won me a big fat zero! No yelling in the house. And try making baskets instead of playing with grass. Fine. Don't you worry. I can teach you how to make one. It's okay. I already know how. Huh? Back in my old life as Urano, my mom asked me to help her make baskets out of newspaper leaflets all the time. Huh? 
Now that's impressive. But why are you so much better at it? Huh? I thought I was supposed to be the big sister. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm not. I just got lucky. You know? You want to be an apprentice seamstress, don't you, Tootie? <gasps> if you do, you'll need to learn how to weave before your baptism. I'd be glad to teach you, if you'd like me to. <gasps> yes! <sighs> nice save, Mom! Tootie's turning seven this summer. In this world, once a kid turns seven, they get baptized and start life as an apprentice. To become an apprentice, you need an adult's referral. As such, most people end up working in the same profession as their parents. You should probably learn to weave too, mine. No thanks, I'll pass. No, you won't. It's an important skill if you want to be a refined lady who makes attractive yet practical clothing for her family. Refined? Uh-huh. Refined ladies must cook and sew for their loved ones. Yeah, but it's not like I want to be a seamstress. Have you thought about being an apprentice craftsman? After all, you make a mean basket. <laughs> so what are you going to do? <laughs> That's easy! Aha! I'll make some books! But ancient Egypt wasn't any help at all. Which is why... I'll let Mesopotamia be my muse! Okay, I'll make clay tablets in the spring. Good morning. Morning, mine. Oh? Hey, Mom. Where are Dad and Tootie? Oh, they went to pick Paru's. Paru's? Are you okay? Yeah. I think I've just about got it. We're back! So this is a paru fruit. Mine, can you hold the bowl for me? Sure. Wow. Smells so sweet. Wanna drink some? Yeah. <laughs> it tastes like rich coconut milk. Such a blissful taste. Ah, that was amazing. Tootie, oh, what happened to your hands? They're all red. It always happens whenever we go pick paru fruit. You can't do it properly unless you warm up the branches with your bare hands. You do it with bare hands? Sounds cold. Though you'd probably catch a cold immediately. Couldn't you just do it in the afternoon? Wouldn't that make them a lot easier to thaw? Absolutely not. The only time you can pick paro fruits is early in the morning. When exposed to full sunlight, the tree grows rapidly, which sends its fruits flying far away and vanishes. Vanishes? Sounds like a real bizarre tree. Once Dad finished separating the flesh, oil, and pulp from all of the parus they'd gathered, he left for his night shift. Hmm. Looks like soy pulp. some paru pulp in exchange for some fresh eggs? Our stock of bird feed is starting to get kind of low. Yeah, sure. Hang on a sec. <laughs> uh, there's a bunch of boys in my family, so food is kind of starting to become a problem. If you're hungry, give this a try. It's really good. Huh? But that's what we give the birds. <laughs> 
It's good. And I think I know a way to make it taste even better. <gasps> Once bubbles form on the surface, you give it a flip. I can't keep watching. Let me do it for you. Here goes. Whoa! Ta-da! Your simple paro cake is ready for your bellies. Fantastic. Where'd you learn to make it? You got your hands all red this morning picking parus for the family. And this way we can make it stretch into a few extra meals. <gasps> yeah. Thank you, Mine. Good job. You're pretty cool, Mine. These are easy to make. And they're really filling, right? Next time you need something, holler. Huh? You're as smart as they come, but your body's weak. Let me help out whenever you need it. As thanks for the paru cake. <laughs> wow, mine made these? She calls them paru cakes. Let's have a bite. It's hard to believe they're really made from paru pulp, isn't it? <laughs> but between the simple all-in-one shampoo and now the paru cakes, where'd she learn how to make all this stuff? She also made a very elaborate basket from scratch all by herself earlier. She has been acting strange for the last several weeks. Who cares if she's acting strange? Huh? The poor kid kept having fevers and could have died any time, you know? It makes me happy just seeing how active my youngest has become. <clears throat> yes, you're right. Uh-huh. Huh? My slate pencil's been worked down to a pebble! Are you kidding me? That's no big deal. It is a big deal! Daddy, please take me to the gate. Why do you want to go to the gate? To get more slate pencils from Mr. Otto. And I'll be sure to have him teach me some more letters while I'm at it. So, mine. You really like Mr. Otto that much, do you? Hmm, I love him. <gasps> hmm? Not until the spring. What? <sighs> not until the spring! Oh. You'll catch a fever if you go outside. You're not taking one step out of the house until spring, understood? Daddy... That man, he's such a mess. Mm. Stupid, smelly, overbearing old man! Ah! However, the very next day had perfect paru picking weather, so Mom and Turi headed out to the forest to gather some, and Dad had to take me with him to the gate anyway. So much snow. Mine. Yes, Dad? What is it? You should know, Mr. Otto's a married man, okay? <laughs> okay... What about it? That young man's mind is filled with nothing but thoughts of his wife. So you're saying Mr. Otto is a devoted, loving husband and basically an all-around great guy, right? No. He's such a pain! Mine. It's been a while. Long time no see, Mr. Otto. Eva will come pick her up when she's finished picking Parus. Take care of mine until then. But, sir, 
I have a... Uh... You get it, don't you? Don't you dare let her catch a cold like the last time. Huh? Well, great. I was about to do the accounts and draw up next term's budget, but now... I talked about how great you are, and then he started sulking. Oh, man. But still, I'm happy to see you again, mine. After that, Otto gave me a fresh pencil from my slate, and then taught me some more letters. I think I've learned a fair few. Oh. Oh. Mr. Otto? Hmm? This part's incorrect. What? And so is this. Hold on. You can do math? But you can't read, right? I don't know the whole alphabet yet, but Mom taught me the numbers when we were shopping at the market. Look, Mama! What's that on that plank? Oh, that. It tells us the price. So you know how much you need in order to buy something. <sighs> hmm. Look, mine. I'm gonna swallow my pride and ask. Could you help me out here? Oh. Uh. Sure, I can help. If you agree to supply me with slate pencils and teach me the alphabet. What? I'm not the kind of girl who does a job without some kind of compensation. <laughs> hmm? I forgot how amusing you are. But all you really want are slate pencils? They get worn down so quickly. I understand. Well then. You have yourself a deal. <sighs> if you don't mind, could you get to work on these calculations right away? Your abacus. Even if I knew how to use one, I won't need it. What? Then how do you plan to do it? I'll do the calculations on my slate. Huh? This is amazing. I can't believe you did these kinds of calculations without an abacus. Uh, oh crap, did I do too much? I'm just happy to be of help, Mr. Otto. You certainly were, thank you, mine. And then came one snowy day after another. Okay, all done. Wow! This is for your baptism. Isn't it lovely? Hmm. Thank you, Mom! <laughs> I see. So we use the free time over the winter to prepare what we need for the summer. Oh. Tootie, what about your hair? Well, I was thinking about picking a few flowers and arranging them as a hair ornament. That's not nearly enough! Huh? I promise to make you look way prettier than that! If we don't have accessories, I can make some! I can show off the lacework skills I got from all those hours of mommy crafting classes! <laughs> uh, wait, this world doesn't have the crochet hook yet! Which means... <sighs> Daddy? Yeah, what? Yikes. Looks like he's still sulking. It's just that... I wanted to ask for a favor. A favor? Uh-huh. I need a needle with a hook to stitch thread. Can you make it? Please, Daddy. Please, Daddy. Please, Daddy. Please, Daddy. Please, Daddy. Now give it a shot. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. <laughs> How's that look? Can you make it a bit thinner? Of course. Look, Mom. As you Dad's wish. in a much better mood now. You're right. What a relief. So how's this?
This victory is mine, Otto. Mom, can I have some leftover thread? Sure you can. But what will you use it for? <laughs> Isn't it too small, though? Not if I make a bunch and put them all together. Hmm. Let me try. Wow, a refined seamstress in action. After Dad made the hairpin part that the crochet was attached to, the hair ornament was complete. All done. That matches nicely. You look great. So pretty. You really think? It's beautiful! I had to repay you for helping me extract the fiber from the grass. I hope you like it. I do mine. Thank you. This makes me so happy! Dad's really happy too! Mine's a kind-hearted girl who cares for her sister! <laughs> and Tori's grown into a lovely, caring big sister too! You girls are my pride and joy! <sighs> have a very nice and caring father, huh? Yeah, but he always gets way too clingy. Now then, moving on. Weren't you planning to make your own paper? You haven't done anything you said you'd do. Hey, I worked hard on my pseudo-papyrus! Though it was a dead end. Next, I'm gonna make clay tablets! Count on it! Though clay is hardly paper. Ugh.